young people. I wanted to do a separate little video on this because I covered it in the um, in another video and a lot of people didn't know about it. So I was like, you know what? Let me just make a, a shorter video so people will watch it and actually learn on why you shouldn't load your semi-automatics by dropping a round. See the chamber's empty now? But if I drop a round in there, now there's a round in the chamber. Hopefully you guys can see that. There's a round in the chamber. And then if I hit my slide release, which I normally don't do. I usually just do the, the, the um, grab and pull, rip and release. But if I do this, it loads the gun. But it's, it's not good for your gun. And you can break and cause stress fracture. Now, what happens is, and I explained this on here, your extractor on your gun comes around when you slam it in like that, I'm using a bigger bullet, and it has to go around the shell to get here. So it has to go around it, which means it's got to bend out and come in. And how it's designed to be rolled is when it comes off a magazine, this little clip right there, it comes in and it slides up in there. So there's a little piece and as your, your round slides up behind it. It's never intended to take bangs and go around. And I don't know if I can show the uh, extractor here. I probably can. Oh shit, I forgot to set the, the threaded barrel for a silencer. Sorry about that. So this little piece, I'm going to point with a Q-tip so it'll be, come. this little piece right here is your extractor. See that little hook right there? So if you're looking in there, you can see that little extractor. So what happens is the bullet is designed to come in behind it and slide up in there. And it hooks it. It's not designed to slam down and have to go around it. See, it's designed to where it comes up from a mag and it slides underneath it. And then it pulls it out when it extracts it. So when you're slamming that round in there, it is banging and, and trashing your extractor because it's taking this forward impact, which it was not designed to take. Okay, so that is why you never load a gun that way. You load a gun the right way. Man, this little freaking sucker is tight. You got to get right in there correctly, or it's not going to go in. So, don't load a gun by putting it around and dropping it down in a barrel and letting your slide forward. Load it the right way to where the round is at an angle and it slides underneath the extractor which is over here like it's designed. Okay? That's my little tip on uh, extractors. Now the AK, I had the AK out here to kind of show the same thing. Uh, on the bolt here, it's got an extractor also, but it's a much bigger extractor. But the same concept is there. See this little, uh, that's my Q-tip. See that little moon shape thing right there? That's your extractor. And when the bullet goes, when an AK round, do I have an AK round around here? I don't. I gotta strip one out. I hate doing that. All right. So now this one looks like it's designed, let me see if I can clip that in there. So, so it's almost designed to clip in there. So that extractor on this one, because it's ramped 
and the way it's designed it may be specifically because there's no way to slide in here Hope you guys can see this there's no way for it to slide in there so this one may actually be slamming in there um, but for pistols don't do it okay so uh, don't want to break your extractor your extractor is the hook that hooks onto the round so when you pull it back it pulls it out so that's your extractor it's extracting it your ejector is normally a big piece right here that your extractor pulls it into and when it hits it it spins the round out and away and it releases it from the extractor and once again you notice when the extractor is hooked when it's pushed out it bends around and it's released it's not designed to take that impact all right I think I beat that dead horse to death, but I, I was surprised at how many people didn't know that. All right, we'll end that there.